Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. It's January, which means it's time to do our six month update on the lab and the remodel and give everybody out there uh, an accurate look at how things are progressing here. And we've got a ton of new subscribers, a ton of new viewers out there. So you guys really have no idea what we do beyond the whole, you know, will it fry thing. There's a lot more to us. So I'm just gonna walk around the lab and show you guys the basics of the facility and, and the kinds of things that we work on here. Um, this is the front door area. There's offices back here, the bathrooms are over here, and you don't want to see either of them because they're pretty boring. This is the main area, walking out into the lab, and the first thing you see is this, which is our air cannon. This was designed by our buddy Prof, Brad. Um, he's in the, in the forums as Prof. This is a pneumatic cannon that, unlike, you know, you see a lot of, people make like spud guns and stuff like that and they're really unsafe. PVC, PVC pipe has this nasty habit of exploding and sending shrapnel into your face. This is made out of copper and where spud guns usually run at like 100 PSI, if that, this thing's been safely tested well in excess of 1000 PSI. In fact, the current record is running it at about 1800 PSI off straight CO2, so that was big fun. And the barrel on it right now is for tennis balls and you put it in there, it's bolt action and the trigger's down here. You plug the airline in here and we use this for teaching physics. Um, we do a lot of math with it, with a demo taking it out onto a football field and having to land the tennis ball at the other end zone. So it's really cool. Over here, this is our world's largest MMC and the coils for Project Gemini. Um, helpful hint, if we're only running one of them, it's Arcturus. Arcturus and Gemini are actually the same setup. This is our fuser, this is the small demos area, and it's a bunch of just little stuff like the fuser, the ring launcher, a small Jacob's ladder. This is our Rubens tube back here, which you'll be seeing in a video coming up soon. This is our single biggest toy as far as size. This is a 120,000 watt television transmitter. This used to be channel 28 out of South Bend. And it's all here. This is the full rig, everything's in there. Um, the only thing missing is the three back cabinets, the Klystron cabinets, we took those out. So, because it wouldn't fit against the wall. This is our knock here, which is coming online soon. Um, Kevin used to sit there, the blue robot we took apart. This is Kevin's little sister, Heather. And then the big project, Jeff, over there. Heather is a KR-125. Jeff is a KR-351. And over here is our air aid siren. And that little cabinet back there is a gigahertz band transmitter. This is our warp core here, which is a current limiter for our big, big Tesla coil, Project Zeus. This is our tiniest Tesla coil, which doesn't even have a name. It needs a name. Right in, we'll give it a name. Um, back here is, we got new doors. That's, that's an upgrade in the past year. We got shiny new doors and exit signs and door closers. We wanna thank Mark at Bombershine Door and Window for doing our doors, they are fabulous. And this is our giant air compressor of doom. This thing makes like one of the coolest sounds ever. I gotta show this to you guys, check this out. Um, it's the sound of doom, I love that thing. So we keep the air compressors in there because they make a lot of noise. This is Omni the Wonder Dog, who people have seen in a lot of videos. She is the lab mascot and my dog. Yes, you're a good puppy. You be in a video? Follow me, okay. Um, over here we've got, this is Jeff. Jeff has his own cage with his own danger sign because every robot needs, they, they need a sign to feel better about themselves. But this is Jeff, who is wonderful. It's one of my favorite toys here. And the idea is that guys like you can come here and play with that and hang out and have fun. And there's nowhere else in the world where you can just walk in the door and play with a giant industrial robot. Um, over here, these are our tools and basic supplies. This is our own private hardware store. And pretty much anything you could need to build your project, we've got. Like screwdrivers, flathead screwdrivers, diagonal cutters, pliers, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Razor knives, we use utility knives a lot. We've got so many tape measures that there's actually a whole box aside from this for tape measures because we could fill three or four of these bins with tape measures. These are all hammers from little tiny hammers to ball peen hammers and regular claw hammers and anything you could want. These are all scissors and cutters. Um, down here, channel locks in every size you can imagine. We've even got these. Do you know what these are? There's a tool for you. It's kind of a neat one. 
What are those? Right in. See if you can figure that one out. And vice grips and the file cabinet. This is our socket set. And we've got hand tools and power tools and air tools and all kinds of tools. We, we do a lot with tools. This is all just cutting and drilling. Okay, and we've got everything from these cool looking things down here. See? These are masochistic frisbees. That's what these are for. And we've got drill bits and, and things like this. There's a neat one. You know what that is? You don't know what this is, do you? But you want to, don't you? Ah, see. Right in. What's that? And we've got, uh, oh, where's that, that one, that really cool one? We have a, oh, this is neat. Here. First person who can write in and comment and tell me exactly what that is and what it's for wins, I don't know, some kind of prize. I'll send him a bumper sticker or something. But this is a very special drill bit that we had to hunt to find, and we're very happy to have it. But we've got, like over here, we've got wire. This is the wire shelf. And it's every kind of wire you could want, from basic machine wire to really super fine magnet wire. This is so thin it probably won't even show up on camera, but there is actually a piece of wire there. See? And that's, that's actually too small to really be useful in a Tesla coil. And then we've got like big, that's, that's 12 gauge magnet wire down there, and we have over 2,000 pounds of it. All of those are magnet wire just for Project Zeus. And we've got extruded aluminum stock for projects, and we've got things like, like this, and, and spacers and springs, and this is all small metal stock, and just all kinds of stuff. I mean, you, you will find the weirdest stuff in our aisles. I mean, we got like, ooh, check this out. This is neat. This thing weighs a ton. If you need to do lifting, ugh, we can do lifting, if you can lift it. That thing weighs about 60 pounds. Um, <laughs> and just, it's fun. I mean, look at the toys we have here. And you can come and play with them. Like over here, sometimes you need fuses. Like you need, you know, little bus fuses for working on your car or your robot or something like that. Well, we've got fuses and we've also got fuses. Every size. And, and I mean, we got a box of BBs here. Maybe you need a voltmeter. We've got voltmeters. Maybe you need a megawatt meter. We got those too. We, <laughs> and we've got, some of them are antiques. I mean, look at that. that there's, that's old school. A little milliamp meter. All kinds of stuff. Gauges and meters and casters. Over here we've got chemistry. Nerd rage! You were talking about stuff we have for chemistry. This is our, the, the beginnings of our chemistry stuff. And we've got things, you know, I got a little thing of, of the flowers of sulfur, which somebody paid $1.24 for. And, you know, we've got some tanks and stuff, basic chem things. We have a, a few things in here that I don't know what they are, but th those are pretty rare. Over here is lasers. You know, we've got a bunch of lasers and optic stuff. These, these are actually really nifty. I gotta do a demo on these. Really gotta get these set up. But we've got optics and benches and a very nearly broken piece of glass. And high voltage pro, we do a lot with high voltage. Here's some, look at that. That's a fun time. High voltage probes. And we've got some, some little lasers in here. We've got a big laser, and I'll do a video on it, but we've, we have a laser where the head of the laser is about eight feet long. And let's wander back here. This is all paint, and this is all adhesives, um, various tapes. We've got everything from Teflon tape to electrical tape to phasing tape, and I'm making a mess. And a lot of this is still getting sorted out because it takes a lot of time to really organize this stuff. This is power supplies back here. You'd be amazed how often people need, like they're coming to be, I need a 19 volt AC power supply. And well, we've got those. Um, this is all just roto bins full of stuff. This one's full of plumbing. The other one over there is full of fasteners in the back. And then this one is full of electrical stuff that really, really needs to be organized. But if you need an emergency stop button, we've got them. We got a lot of e-stops, we got wire nuts, we got just all kinds of stuff. Understand, we get things donated in huge amounts. Like uh, the electrical stuff was uh, a guy who was an electrical electrician, electrical engineer, something like that. He passed away and his wife gave us a pole barn full of stuff. So it can take months to really organize and catalog everything. You know, maybe you need an electrocardiogram. We've got one. I, <laughs> over here we've got a couple vacuum pumps. Most of the vacuum pumps are in the back, but we've got a handful up here. And this will give you an idea of some of the stuff we have. We have this big one down here. It's kind of cool, big stokes. This is my personal favorite. It's our turbo molecular vacuum pump. 
And then we've got this one here, uh, uh, a big ghast. And here's one for you. What is that? There's your puzzle for the day. And yes, I know what that one is. I had to install one. And we've got float switches and filters. And, and these are neat. A portable air supply for a coal miner. We've got them. They actually use a chemical process to generate air. And then this is all metal stock back here from like we've got rig stuff and uh, this is all glass tubing up here. We've got hundreds of pieces of glass tubing. I'll just pull one out. They're all about a meter long. Look at that. We've got tons of it. Whole boatload of glass. Some of this is solid rod too. I didn't notice that before. We do have some solid rod. Are you going to die? I'm trying not to kill our cameraman. Are you cool? <laughs> this is a project in the works. It's going to be a very big Jacob's Ladder. So now you know what this, this big red thing is in the back. And then you get over into the more organized area. We just did the plastics organization. This shelf here is all plastic. And it's everything from high density polyethylene to ABS, Delrin, Acetel. Um, that's UHMW right there. These are all UHMW. We have Macrolon, which is really cool. Um, Macrolon is what they make bulletproof windows out of. This is all stuff that just came in two days ago. This was donated by Mac Media. Thank you to all the guys at Mac Media. You guys rule. The, uh, actually, in this particular video, the microphone I'm wearing came from this donation. Um, we got, like this, we got a nifty little mixing console. And we've got, uh, here's a, a tally light system and a viewfinder. This particular one is going to go on the camera crane. I mean, this, this is the stuff people send us. I mean, we've got, it's a VCR. It's useless. I mean, what are we going to do with a VHS VCR? But it's parts. So, you know, what, there's motors in there. There's servo drives. There's all kinds of stuff. There's a vector scope here. There's, there's some really nifty stuff. We, we pulled all the really cool stuff out of it. A lot of it's already in use. And uh, some of it we're not entirely sure about. Like this thing. I, I don't even know what this is. This is it's some kind of digital logo, logo generator. Maybe you guys can identify this and help us out and figure out how to hook it up. So I don't really know what it does, but it looks cool. I'd like to figure it out. Here's the cradle. Now, I've gotten a ton of people writing in saying, you suck, we watched that video for like an hour and you didn't make it move. Well, we can't make it move yet, we're waiting on parts. Come here, I'll show you the problem. If you sight down it, take, take a look right down the, the cradle. See how the balls aren't in alignment yet? Well, the reason for that is simple. Anybody out there who's ever played a guitar understands when you first put strings on a guitar, they stretch out and it goes out of tune like crazy for the first day or two. Well, same thing. We're using rope and the rope is bouncy and that's really bad. This is a problem. Also, this isn't the actual setup for the cradle. This is just the assembly prototype. So it's really narrow. When this is set up properly, the, the cables will be out at, at an angle about like that. It'll be much bigger. But if we tried to use this right now, it'll do this. Here, get, get a shot right down there and we'll show them. See? It's all wonky. It's not going to work yet. You got to wait a few weeks. I just sent a proposal off to Car Lane. They're going to donate the cable we need because we want to get rid of the rope and replace it with cable. We tried the ropes. It was a bad idea. It doesn't work right. So we're going to get the right cable donated. I need two 1,000 foot spools of CL3 SC coated stainless steel cable, size 3, from Car Lane. If you want to you know, send in the money to finish that, by all means, but it's a few hundred bucks a roll, and I need 2,000 foot spools of it. Um, this is a video you're going to see coming up, and I'm not going to talk about it. All I'm going to tell you is it's an um, industrial conveyor from Robot and Vision. We're going to do something totally different with it. Um, after that, you get up into this area, which is our workshop. And this is Moose, who you see in a lot of the videos. Hi, Moose. What Hi. you doing? I'm looking up information on my flash. Is it working? You, you working. have it mounted. Yes, it's working. I'm just seeing what the ideal situation for it is. Okay, cool. This is our just workbench where we have tons of projects going on all the time. This is stuff that's getting sorted. It's electronics bits. And we've got some laptops here. This you will see on an upcoming Will It Fry. We finally found a laptop that, we, that is old enough that we don't care if we kill it, but good enough that we can run Windows, because if you're going to torch a laptop, it's really good to do it with Windows. Um, this is a project that I'm working on. Check this out. This is actually really cool. Look at that vacuum tube. It's an RCA tube. The number on it is 7094.
by all means, write in and tell me what that tube is and if I can do anything cool with it, because it's a really beautiful vacuum tube, and I'm a sucker for glowing glass. I love it. Um, drafting table, which we actually use. Um, a scale, which I'm restoring. This is all test equipment. Almost, not everything, but almost everything up here works. We've got, um, these are really neat. These are 1,000 watt 50 ohm dummy loads um, rated up into RF. We've got O scopes. We just, all kinds of stuff. This is, the idea is that this is a big work table that you can just walk in and do stuff. And we've got like, this is a, a CNC test that Moose was working on, or somebody. And we've got, there's an oscilloscope out here. We've got our classic mill out here. This is our big old mill. And we just built a new handle for it. Todd did this. We're very proud of him. Follow me around here and I'll show you the new toys. This is our crap spectacular, evil, demon-possessed bandsaw. It's donated and I'm really thankful we got donated because it was great for years. We've used this thing for like five years, but its time has come and passed. It went up in smoke last week in the middle of a cut and it's not worth fixing. This thing tried to kill me once already. It burst into flames back in about 2006 and we were doing a Tesla video and I've never liked it since then. So that, that saw doesn't like me. This is our beautiful brand new jet drill press. You'll be seeing a lot of videos on this. This is our old lathe. It's the same vintage as our old mill, but we, we do have an actual manual turn the knob lathe and mill. Over here, these are the nice shiny new toys from Haas. We have our CNC lathe here. This is a TL1. Our CNC milling machine over here. This is our TM1. These both get a lot of use. Um, we just got them in. We're just getting our feet under us on these. We're doing training. There's going to be 300 videos made in this year on these three machines, the, the TM1, the TL1, and the SR100, the, the big sheet router out there. This is our CNC Junior Plus from CNC Masters. This is fabulous, and we're going to be doing a lot of videos on this. We're waiting on a part, though, so that's, that'll be a little while. And then there's drilling and purling back there. Uh, what else we got? This is our SR100, which is covered with stuff right now. This is a beautiful machine, it costs a fortune, and we can't even turn it on yet because we need to get ISO 30 tool holders donated. Now take a look here. This is a tool holder. In fact, here, I'll give you a better example. This is a tool holder. So you take your bit, here's a four flute end mill, and this goes in there. Okay, so this is the, the cutting bit, and this goes in there. And this is the tool holder, this goes in the machine. And the idea is the machine can hold this very accurately and spin it and change out different tools really easily. Well, this is a CAT 40. This is the most popular size there is. This is what our, our big milling machine in there uses. But this one uses an ISO 30. Now there's CAT 40, BT 40, ISO 40. They're all different. These are CAT 40. This uses ISO 30, and we only need like 10 of them, but they're a nightmare to try and find. They're really hard to get. So if you've got a couple extra ISO 30 tool holders that you want to donate, I cannot express how much we would appreciate that. But we've got, there's a lot of stuff here that you're going to see in upcoming videos. We just got this whole pile of stuff donated and it's getting sorted out, but there's some really nifty stuff in here. One of my favorites is, look at this. This is cool. Now, everybody's seen a tap before, like, uh, like that's a tap, okay? And this is designed, it's a, a special bit that cuts threads inside a hole to make a threaded hole. This is a tap. Well, these taps are special. These are called cold forming taps or roll forming taps. These taps don't make any chips. They, they just displace the metal. They push it out of the way. It's really cool. And it, you got to use a lot of lube. You got to do it just right. There, there's, there's a bit of a science to it, but it's really neat. So we're going to be doing video on these and, and all kinds of stuff. And look, masochistic frisbees. And then we've got this thing, which is really cool. This is diamond inserts on here, and this is a, uh, a facing cutter. It goes like that, it goes on a special arbor, which we don't have, but we got that part, so we'll make it work. Um, then we go, that's, that's all the building stuff side of the building. Over here is the sound stage, and there's Lauren back there. She's on our fundraising team. Say hi, you're on the tour. <laughs> She's taking notes on something, but this is our big sound stage, which you see in all the videos. Um, we just did a photo shoot, so the pool table is out here for reasons that even I don't begin to understand. But if you come up here, here's lunch from today. And the back wall, we've done the set tour, you've, you've seen all those videos, but here's the view you never get to see. Come on over here, Mikey. 
this is what I'm looking at in all those videos. There's the, a camera here, which we're actually using right now, the red camera, and the blue camera's over here, and then there's a camera crane, which is all the little tight close-up shots. Those are done from this, and we put a camera right here. But this is what the soundstage actually looks like. Here's all the behind-the-scenes stuff. These are the blocking monitors. For every camera I'm looking at, I've got a monitor so I can see, like when, when we're doing the close-up stuff, every now and then you'll see me move to get it centered. That's because I'm working off a blocking monitor. So we got these donated from KVCC. Thank you guys, they're awesome. We need more media carts. We've, we've killed, I, I have this nasty habit of killing media carts. I ran over one with a forklift. Uh, if you saw the, the Project Jeff, or the Project Kevin, uh, equipment autopsy videos, there's a, a point towards the end when I actually run over a media cart with a forklift. I suck at driving a forklift. Um, these are our antique cameras, the old Sonys. We got these donated from Mac Media back in 2006 and we're still using them. The problem is we need capture cards, but I'll show you about that stuff in a bit. This is our set B, which you haven't seen really. In there. We used it in one video so far just as a testing thing. The theme song jam session was actually a test for seeing how well we could do it recording sound and stuff like that. Now hidden back behind the big red wall is our loading dock and that's where we have our big white truck. Uh, you, you, I'll do that in the summertime. I'm not going out there right now. Pallets of equipment and stuff. This is the big yellow forklift. We want to thank Morrison Industrial Equipment in Grand Rapids. You guys are awesome. They have donated forklifts to us forever. And we've got the yellow one working. This one's been pretty good to us. Uh, we killed the red one, the little red forklift. Won't, the forks don't go up and down anymore, but it still moves, so it's over here. We use it as a portable lighting rig, and uh, we're trying to figure out how to make it into a camera dolly. Um, let's show them in the, in the control room. All right. Now, this is where the active remodeling is happening right now. This is our control room. And when we get everything set up, we just got... Um, a new sponsor that is going to allow us to get these monitors up and running. These run off um, the computers out there, which I'll show you in a second. We want to thank um, Stollard Technologies. You guys have changed our whole world. All the, the computers, our render engine, all our video editing stuff is going to be happening on these. Um, almost all of our computers come from Stollard Technologies. And if you're looking for servers, like if you're a serious computer geek and need servers really inexpensively, check out Stollard. Um, this is the control room where today I'm working on theme song stuff. So this is the main control room for our recording studio. When we're doing video shoots on set B, we'll be able to control it all here. And when we're doing audio work in the studio, we actually have recording studio A right there. That happens out there and this will be the big console. Right now we're using this little Mackie because it's all we can afford. If you've got an 8 bus Mackie, like an old 32.8 analog console, please, please send us one. My God, would we dearly love some real control room equipment like a 32 by 8 Mackie. Real monitors. You'll notice there aren't a real pair of monitor speakers anywhere in here. Please send us some. For the love of God, we need real monitors. Um, right now, I'm working on a theme song, which you'll be hearing on an upcoming video. And I'm using this craptacular keyboard, which sticks! I hate this keyboard! But it was free, and I don't even think it was a donation. I think I got it like at a yard sale for like a dollar. And it's got MIDI outs, and it works, so... I hate this thing. If anybody out there has an old basic keyboard that I don't even care if it works. If you've got an old keyboard that doesn't make sound but the MIDI still works, all I need is a keyboard controller. I, I need the MIDI outs. Um, this is our jukebox machine that plays all the tunes in the lab. We run it off Pandora. And here's our render engines. And back here, oh, I gotta plug the lights in because we don't have them wired up yet. This is Studio A. I'm trying to find the plug, it was hidden by the thing. So this will be Studio A, where we will record lots and lots of music, and there will be huge amounts of stuff happening here. Our day in the life of a rock star class is going to happen in this room. So that's that. It's very ugly right now. We need audio stuff. I need Z channel. That's, that's my crisis of the week. I need to get resilient wall channels. They're for mounting drywall. 
They're like springy things. I need to get some of those. So if anybody out there knows where I can get some donated, please comment or email info at thegeekgroup.org because I am desperately trying to find some so that we can do the drywall. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, here. Secret behind the scenes room. We'll show them high voltage storage. Back here, this is where you get into the real ugly. We have no storage space. So every little room gets packed with stuff. This is all high voltage gear that we can't do anything with. And pay no attention to the giant tub of illegal fireworks. You totally didn't see that. Um, don't tell anybody, okay? Please. But we, <laughs> this is all high voltage gear. I just, more big fuses and just some really awesome stuff. I mean, like, we've got these. How cool are these? Big, big contactors, high voltage contactors. And just stuff. This is all theater lighting, set lighting. We've got tons of it. I can't do anything with it because we don't have bulbs, we don't have lighting controllers. God, do we need dimmer packs? Send those in. Um, oh, I'm not even going to try it. There's Studio B is over there, but I'm not even going to bother showing you that. It's such a mess. Um, here's a neat thing. 150,000 volt power supply. DC three phase. That's going to be in some upcoming videos. We're going to be do doing fuser stuff with that. This is all stuff that has been taken out of the transmitter cabinets that we've been taking apart and it needs to be sorted and go on shelves and get cataloged. Here's a neat one. This came in from Mac Media, and I cannot figure this out. It's like, you know, 100 foot long cable. It's got fire wire ends. Guys, what the hell is this for? Because I don't think you can run a fire wire cable 100 feet long. I think you, the sink issues alone go completely to hell. Um, just stuff. Here's Geekmobile Unit 1. This is the most advanced war driving rig in the world. There's going to be tons of videos on that. This is our work truck, which the brake lights don't work, and we're trying to figure out why. The bulbs are good. We checked that, and so are the fuses. It's something weird in the wiring. Here's Project Redshift, another one of the Geek Mobiles. And it's just sitting here for winter storage. We're going to be working on this again in a couple months. This is our hoist. You can come here and get into Geek Group Vehicular Sciences Lab and work on your car and do stuff on your projects. We've got street luges and motorcycles. Like over here, that's, we, we've got a motorcycle. We've got a lawnmower. Um, Andre is, is the lawnmower god. We got a kid. He's a high school kid named Andre. Dude's amazing. Anything with a small engine, he's got it. This is the best projector we own. Do you see the problem here? This is the best projector we own. We can't even do 1024 768. So yeah, we need projectors. Here's one of the motorcycles. Here's, I'll just grab a random shelf. Take a look up here. This is all avionics. I mean, we've got directional gyros and altimeters and airspeed indicators and all kinds of stuff. And this, this is all parts that are here for people like you to come down and get involved and be a part of what we're doing here. You know, come and build your project. We've got, the, <laughs> we've got some of the weirdest stuff. You know the, the, the home arrest guys with like, you know, people out on parole and that with the ankle bracelets? We've got like 50 sets of those. I have absolutely no idea why, but we've got them. And then here we've got insulators and diodes. And here's a whole bunch of really big high voltage, you know, diode stacks for like making 100,000 volt diodes. And we've got capacitor banks and some lighting power supplies, but I don't have the racks to put them in, so we can't do anything with them. Back here, this is all Variax. I mean, just, just all the high voltage Tesla guys are gonna get creamy right now, watch this. This is our Variac collection. Triple stack, quad, triple, triple. I mean, we've got tons of Variax, big singles. These, each one of these is 30 amps. And we've got, go down to the little Variax. Then we go down to the little baby Variax. Oh, isn't it cute? Look at that. It's just special. A baby Variax. We've got toroidal transformers. That's a big transfer switch. I mean, look at this. This is cool. This is so badass. This is one of the neatest things we've ever gotten donated. This is a plug. That's all it is. It's just a plug. But it's huge. It's this giant, epic, weatherproof, keyed plug. That is so badass. Just, oh, it's manly. I love this. So yeah, we've got all these toys are here for you guys to come play with. We got power supplies. If you need a power supply for your project, we got them. Here's the original Project Sam power supply. And just there's linear actuators. We got gears. We got ring gears and spur gears. We've got these bendable flexi connectors, which are neat. It's cool if you don't know what the hell to do with it. It's just neat. Come make something. 
We got pneumatics. You need pneumatics? We got it. We got little, I don't even know how to make that move. This moves. Uh, valves are locked. But we've got cylinders. I got little tiny cylinders. I got you know, medium sized cylinders. I've got big cylinders and I've got giant cylinders that are too big for me to pick up. We got pumps. We got vacuum pumps. We got, look, here's, here's the cylinders off Jeff or Kevin. <laughs> when we took Project Kevin apart. It's pulling out. It's just really slow. But there's a cylinder. We've got the cripple cam, which is an old electric wheelchair that we wired up with a camera mount. Just, there's so much here to see. There's so much stuff. There's so much parts. Giant ferro resonant power conditioners. Okay, that little toy that you bought for $10 at Office Max that you think is a surge arrester? No! What? That's a surge arrester. That's how you handle high frequency transients and get yourself. You need, you need 50 pounds of iron to be able to do that right. Giant chain, down to little, little minty chain, to big giant chain. Net, if you need cargo net, we got it. We've got, that's all motorcycle stuff. This is anything that makes a lighter sound. We got horns and sirens and buzzers and bells and whistles. You're just running all over all kinds of stuff, aren't you? You're trashing a joint. We got springs. Look at this. Now that is a piece of cable. It's like 20 pounds. Robot parts, motors. This is all just motors and gear heads. We've got, got a little dude with a parachute. I don't even know why that's here. That's pretty cool. We got a little parachute, dude. It's a G.I. Joe guy. Yes! <laughs> That's so cool. We've got propellers. This is for the Wet Strength Project. Okay, this, this will be coming up this summer. You'll see us doing that. More vacuum pumps, blowers, all kinds of stuff, car stuff. Why there's a tripod head back here, I have no idea, but that's the one that's missing a thing, so it's drunk anyway. This, Nerd Rage, pay attention. See this? Plastic 55 gallon drum with electrodes and a big rusty capacitor inside it hang, hanging from a sling. I've got a power supply and you know electrochemistry. So that's, that's the setup for the video that you and I are going to work on. Here's a neat one. This is a ballistic backdrop. We needed a big thing to stop bullets. And we filled a big steel can with wood. The other side's open, but it's too hard to turn. So that's just a quick look. There's so much more to see. But I'm not going to fit it all in one video. But that's, there, there's the pig pen outside with high voltage gear. There's, there's a 100,000 watt tr uh, generator out there. I mean, just, there's so much stuff. And it's everywhere. And it's all here for you. That's the idea. This is a place for people like you to come and build stuff. It's like if you could go to Mythbusters and hang out. We're not just videos. I want you to come here and get involved and make your own videos. Okay, come, come here and do a video with me. Come down, make your project. Make a Tesla coil of your own. Make a Marks Bank. Make uh, a really nifty musical instrument. I mean, whatever you want to do, come down and build it and get in our forums and get involved. That's what we're here for. We're here for people like you that are into science and technology. This is a place to get excited and build things. That's what we do. So, yeah, there's your update. That's where the lab is as of January 2010. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. You guys have fun, come on down, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.